But Dolph, we were talking about life before today's show and how it's hurricane season. Something here in the Carolinas, even though we're not on the coast, we definitely pay attention to. Absolutely. I mean, we had several of them last year nail us. And uh, this year, I mean, they're already starting out. Dorian was in the making her landfall this weekend. And uh, God help anybody who's in the path of a hurricane. Growing up on the coast of the Carolinas myself, always something to keep an eye on and you have to be careful about. Remember this movie from years ago starring George Clooney? It was about the perfect storm unfortunately occurring. Where are you? Tail of the banks, kicking up something wicked here. Where are you? Going in. It's being called the worst storm in recorded history. Hurricane Grace is accelerating off of Sable Island. Once it starts, no force on Earth can stop it. These storms have collided. You're going to run right into this thing. Called the perfect storm. And that was actually based on a true story. It became what was known as the perfect storm. And now some experts worry that something similar may be happening with our economy. CNBC says that the Fed's interest rate policy, trade wars with China, and uncertainty over Brexit could combine into ultimately the perfect storm on Wall Street. So in other words, Dolph, what I'm hearing here is a major correction is on the way. You're not a meteorologist, but do you see that in the forecast? That was a great movie, by the way, for the really record. Was. But, but I mean, the market turned down sharply, buffered by its first disappointment over the Fed's hawkish expected policy outlook. I mean, this interest rate environment, everything that's going on, we don't have control too much of it, but we're going to be watching it. It's like when a hurricane comes, you can see it, but you can't control it. And mm-hmm. it's, like, it's like, go away, go away. All you can do is be prepared for if it happens. And we've had a heck of a run in the, in the market for the last nine, 10 years with a couple hiccups along the way. And everybody's been talking about correction. Well, is this the beginning of it? I don't know. I can say yes, but I can't say no. But one thing I can say, it's what I like about it is, it's not going to concern me or my clients and the strategies that we're in. Because zero is my hero. Huh, I mean, at the end so. of the day, I mean, I mean, Warren Buffett's birthday was yesterday. I mean, happy birthday, Warren. Hope you turn a good one. I love him. The best way to make money is not to lose money. But he's like, zero can be your best friend. And the strategies you work with, when if we had a correction and you're in a strategy where it does have a major correction. We've seen the market, Kristen, in the last couple of weeks. It's been up 800, down, mm-hmm. uh, sad. I mean, up, down, you know, who knows? It's like it's like going to Carowinds, watching the, the Fury go, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. But don't worry about it. And if you're with an advisor, that's fine. But ask your advisor a couple simple questions. I said, ask him, what is my plan of attack? If you don't have an advisor, ask yourself these questions. If this does happen, what are my plan of attack? How much money could this potentially cost me? And am I going to be paying fees still during this whole process? Those are some important questions to ask you because this is your hard-earned money. Now, I'm going to ask you a simple question. Okay. Kristen, you have, right now, let's just say you have $250,000 in an account in the market right now. Okay. And ask yourself, okay, this all the stuff that's going on, interest rates changing, bond rates changing, all the stuff in China, all the stuff with Brexit, the trade wars, this, I mean, yada, yada, yada. In five years from now, if you're $250,000, Dollars was still worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Would you be okay with that? That's uh, question one. Okay. Question two is if your two hundred fifty thousand dollars was now only worth a hundred thousand dollars, would you be okay with that? And this both scenarios are five years from now. Five years from now. Of course, I'd rather it stay the same. And if the third option, if your two hundred fifty thousand was now worth four hundred thousand in five years from now, how would you feel? Very okay with that. That's the difference between the three questions I'm asking. That's the difference between having zero as your hero. Versus going backwards. Now, you don't can't guarantee anything in this world for the most part. But the two hundred fifty thousand, if you do have a correction and you stay in it and you, you follow the advisor's advice and stick it out, stick it out, stick it out, and it falls to a hundred thousand dollars, and it takes you five six years to get back to two fifty, you've just lost several years of potential gains. Mm-hmm. Now, if the strategies we offer, if it does go down, you stay at two fifty, and if it goes up, you're going to get those gains. So you're not playing catch up mode. You're not in a football game that go blue, by the way, I had to say that out there, <laughs> and you're not down 28 to nothing. You're saying, oh, now we have to press, put the pedal to metal to try to get back in the game. No, you're always in the game, and you can only move ahead. You can never go backwards. On the Income Strategy Show with Dolph Janis on News 1110 and 99.3 WBT.